hello everyone welcome again to another video so today we are going to learn how to make bow look at this pretty one blue i use gold for the outer outer line this is pink and looks very beautiful and here's another one i use light pink for one side and i use white for the other side this is all white and i have a little flower i'm going to put in the middle to make it look pretty see how beautiful it looks already when i touch it in the middle it's going to look so beautiful so this little one is a ring i make it as a ring okay very beautiful i use 11 no seed bead actually to make this one you can wear it on your ring finger like this look at how it is so cute and beautiful or you can wear it on your index finger if you like whichever one you want like this so nice so this is what we will be learning today to make you use the bow you can make it in so many ways so I'm going to teach you today how to make this beautiful beautiful bows the ring I use 11 no seed bead to make it 11 no seed bead please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video share to friends and family and also your support to this channel is greatly appreciated thank you hello and welcome back so let's get into the video over here i have my eight millimeter facelift bead over here in yellow i have Today I'm using 25 pound beading wire and these are my pliers. So cut your line ready and we are going to thread. We are going to start with one, okay? So drop one bead on the line and the second one, I'm going to cross both ends of the line into the second bead and pull. Pull down like this. I'm going to repeat the same I'm going to put one bead on the line this one bead I'm crossing both ends of my line into this bead and I'm pulling it down so far we have three on the line and we are going to repeat the same thing we are going to put one So pick up another one bead and cross both ends of your line into the bead and pull it down. So this starting stage, we are going to thread seven. We are going to start with seven beads. So this is four I've done so far. And now this is six. It does six. So the seventh one, I'm going to drop it on the line and I'm just going to tie the line I drop it first then I hold both ends of the line and tie I'm just gonna tie it over here and make sure it's well firm like this you see I tie first now I'm going to tie the second time This is how it's looking like so now we have both ends on this end over here I'm going to hold this one and I'm going to pull it through the edge bead over here and pull to the opposite side so what you can see over here we are starting with seven bead for the first row and that's what we are going to start with so this line I'm going to put two bead on it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull my line under this top line over here. One, two. So the second one, okay? Those top lines over there, that is where we are going to pull our line through. 
So I'm going through the second one and pull. Now with this end, I'm going to go through the second bead, go under the second bead like this and come up and pull so that the bead will be sitting on the bottom one. Now add one bead to the line. Now I'm coming under this line, the top line over here pull then the end of your line pull it through the bead and come up like this so your bead will be sitting well on the bottom line you add one now go under the top line over there pull come up through the bead and pull like this and pull I'm going to add another bead again now I'm coming under this line over here those line at the edge that's where I'm coming my line is coming from and I'm going to hold this end, pull it through the bead, and come up. Add a bead to your line. Go under that line on top of the bead and come up with your line like this. Now the second line is ended you see we complete the second roll already complete the second roll we have to continue with the tail row we are going to do the same but the starting I'm going to start with two bead I'm trailing two bead on the line And I'm coming under this line, the second line, okay? Not the first one, this one, but the second one, the one following it. You come under it, pull. Now use the end of your line to come through the second bead. Come up and pull. Add a bead to the line. we are coming under the bead. Add another bead to the line. This is what we'll be repeating all through this week. I'm adding another bead. You see how super simple it is? It's very, very simple. If you follow the pattern, it's very simple. It's nothing hard to do. It's very, very simple and easy. Now the third roll is complete and when I'm going to start, I start with two. I'm adding two bead to the line. Then I'm coming under this line on top pull. Come up with your line and add another bead to the line. Come under the line, pull and use the line to come up through that bead. Add another bead to the line. Now go under that line on top of the bead. Come up with your line through the bead and pull. I'm going to continue with two bead again. I'm starting at a fresh line, fresh row. So I'm coming under this line, pull, I'm coming up with my line and pull. So you add a bead to the line, come under the thread, pull, and come up with your line through the bead. 
we come to the top we are about to complete and this last row I'm going to do is the last one so I'm going to add two big to the line and do the same thing and this will be our last row come under this line and use the end to come up now the first one is done we are just going to continue on the other side over here so I'm going to use this line on the other side to continue the second phase and I'm adding two beads to the line I'm going to go under the second line over there come up with my line through the bead and pull now add one bead to the line again come under this thread over here pull and come up with your line through this bead and pull so I'm going to repeat only the first the first row then you continue with yours the same way we did for the other side the same thing we are going to repeat over here too so it's very very simple and easy I'm coming up through this bead and I'm pulling it so we are going to continue the same way and this is how it should look like if you complete the other side now we just have to fold it and make one side of the bow so this is the second side that I made I made two of them if you make two you fold it on it and this is how it's going to look like okay you put it together and it makes a bow so let me show you how we are going to put this together so fold the bow together and hold one end of your line cross it into the opposite top bead this one is going to go through the opposite top bead and hold the other end of the line the other line also this one and cross it this the opposite and cross it in directly into this bead come like this now I'm coming to come up through this bead and I'm going to hold this line into the opposite bead up and pull now I'm going through the top bead I'm going to go down either you can cross it you can do the opposite thing or you cross it direct into it so I'm going through this the, and pull down those are the two top beads I pull it through so over here what I'm going to do I'm just going to hold both of the line and tie it tie nice and neat tie So now that I'm done, I'm going to pull each ends of the line into a bead before I trim it off. I pull it through, pull this one through this bead, then I'm going to trim it off. Then this, the second one too, I'm going to do the same to the other one. This is how one is look like this is one side of the bow okay and the second one too we are going to repeat the same thing to the second one i'm going to hold this line and cross it into the opposite bead on top of on top over there the top bead and pull i'm going to hold the other end of the line cross it into the top bead and pull like this now I'm going to hold this line or either one come up into this bead the other one come up through this bead now to the top you can either cross it or do it direct 
So I'm crossing it into this one. I want to show you how to cross it here too. You cross this end, hold the other end and cross it into the opposite bead over there and pull. So what we have to do here, I'm just going to hold both ends and tie. Very, very simple. You tie nice and neat. And after that, you just trim it off. I'm going through this bead over here to pull and the other line I'm going to pull it through a bead then I'll trim it off very beautiful very very beautiful look at that Now to put it together, I'm, I cut a fresh line, I'm coming through the edge bead and the, the other line too, I'm coming through this edge bead like this and pull, pull it and align this bow to the same direction and come through, pull both ends through the top bead and pull. Now hold it to make sure they're both on the same side, then you pull them together like this, okay? So here, just tie into that bead. Tie. Tie again. And I'm weaving it through a couple of beads before I trim it off. On the other side, we are going to do the same thing again on the other side. I put the line through those two beads and now I'm coming through. I'm going to come through this bead over here. Hold it and come through the edge bead. Now what we are going to do, I'm just going to tie over here and weave the rest of the line through a couple of beads, then I trim it off. And your bow is done. Look at the beauty of this bow. It looks so pretty. The rest of this line, I'm going to weave it back into a couple of beads, then I trim it off. This bow, you can make the smaller one for earring, keychain, whatever you want to make it for. It looks so beautiful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. And also please remember to subscribe and turn on your notification for new videos that I'll be uploading so you don't miss out on it. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.